Hey guys, Robert Plank here, and today we're going to look into the Wishlist Member API. Now, Wishlist is a WordPress-based membership site plugin that has a lot of features, but you can even add your own features, and you can even have your own plugins hook into the functionality of this membership software. Now, what does that mean? It's a bunch of scary, crazy, long words. What does that really mean? Well... It means that if you already have a WordPress plugin or you're thinking about making one, you can hook into Wishlist and figure out things such as what membership levels a user belongs to, what content a user is supposed to have access to as part of your membership site, and so on. So if we look at this, for example, I have this free WordPress plugin called WP Import, and basically what someone can do is they can upload a zip file containing articles, containing text files, blog posts, whatever you want to call it. And so this is a, a content importer. And normally, I would allow people to adjust the date of their post, adjust the category. But what I did with the API was I also made it so that when someone added in a bunch of new posts, it could put the posts on specific membership levels. So that means that if I had 50 new blog posts in a zip file, in separate text files, and I wanted to add them to my site, I could make sure to add all those posts in the student level. Pretty cool, right? I've also got this plugin here uh, that allows me to change the name of the blog. So for example, if the name of this blog was Wishless Bootcamp, uh, then that would appear for a certain level. But if I wanted the name of the blog to appear as Membership Queue for a different level, I could change that. And this would not be possible without the API. Here's another example of the API. I have this on a sales letter where it shows how many people are members in my membership site, and as a consequence, how many slots are remaining. So we can do some pretty cool stuff. So basically what we're going to do is head on over to wishlistproducts.com forward slash API. And I keep using this term API. Don't worry about what it means. It just means it's a way to hook into wishlist. So you're going to need, obviously, wishlist member installed for this. And so this is, uh, and ignore this first stuff. We're going to look at this WLM API stuff. And this lists, you know, the way that we can see what l people are on what levels, we can see what content's on what levels, we can do stuff like that. And I know there are a lot of things listed here, but the ones that I use the most are first of all get user levels. So for example, let me list uh, users here. So I have this user right here, Roberto Plank, which is on the full level. So what I might want to do is see what levels this person is on and based on what level they're on do something right so for example i have a pop-up plugin for wordpress and i might want to show a different pop-up depending on which membership level that they are on okay i use that one and then the other big one i use is get levels so that way i can see what membership levels we have. Do we have like a full level, a free level, a paid level? And then the number three function I use is this get member count. And just to show you how easy and how fun this is, and just uh, to not take up a bunch of time, let's start with get member count. So this is a function that will just get a list of the total number of users you have. So right now I have, I'm not sure, I think this just counts as one, right? But let's uh, let's add this dude oops, to the uncancel from level full real quick. Okay, so I'm going to create a, a couple of test users just to see how this looks. So I'm going to scroll down here and add a user. Let's just call this dude Tracy Childers. Whoops, passwords didn't match, did they? And let's just create a Joe Schmo user, okay? So we've got, I think three, I think this will count as just three users. So what I'm going to do real quick is go to plugins, add new, 
and I need a way to add to add code to my uh, to my membership site. Okay, because I, I don't want to go and edit a bunch of stuff. So it's going to search for PHP short codes. So or I think short code. So uh, the letter PHP short code, all uh, one word. So PHP S H O R T C O D E. Click search plugins. And this is a free plugin. This will just allow us to add something really quick in here. So click install now and enter in our trusty FTP information. Here we go. Activate the PHP shortcode plugin. And let's just go to our topmost post and see what we end up with. Because I always like to see stuff right away without having to get into any kind of fancy code. So I'm just going to go to this topmost post and I'm going to have this uh, these brackets so PHP and slash PHP inside hard brackets and actually um, yeah I'm going to switch to the HTML view. So we have PHP and slash PHP inside hard brackets we go back to this wishlist products page here and we see this WLM API colon colon gets member count so we're just going to type that in WLM API colon colon get member count and at the same time you usually just you know double click right click copy and then go back here to where I want it right click and paste okay so we're gonna put that in but then we're gonna put in parentheses so left parentheses right parentheses colon and we're gonna do an uh, echo so let's just see what this gives us okay so we have grabbed the WLM API colon colon get member account and we can't this is an image so we can't just copy that but we can copy that part so um, I think well, let's just see what happens with that on its own so click on update and then let's right click on the title and see what happens on the site so here we go three so that number did work so we have three members in our site so pretty cool how that works. So just to get to this point, remember we installed the PHP shortcodes plugin. So go to plugins, add new, type in PHP shortcodes, install it, activate it, and then we have these PHP tags, and then we're just going to say echo and then WLM API colon colon and then the thing you want parentheses semicolon. So this shows us the number of uh, members in our site. But what if we wanted to get a little more advanced than that? Well, I'm very glad you asked because we're going to go back to this member list and we're going to make things a little bit more interesting. We have a full level, but what if we also had a free level and we only wanted to count people in our site who were in the full level, people who were paying members. So we're going to go to membership levels. We will add a new level. We'll just call it free and we'll give it uh, no expiration date, leave everything else the same. So we're going to have a membership level with just free content and we'll go back to the member list and what we'll do is let's say I want to be mean to Tracy. Let's say I want Tracy to be on the free level. So I'm going to say oops, let me scroll up a little bit here, add to level add him to the free level okay so now we can see that this dude is on full and free but we want to kick him off with a full level so let's check that box and uh, or move from level or move from full level okay so once this loads what we'll have here is now we say that we have two users on the full level, one on the free. So let's see what happens. If we go back here, refresh this, this still says free because this is just counting everyone in our site. But if we look at the instructions here, it always helps to read the instructions. We can say that this, uh, this thing inside the parentheses can either say all non-members pending or a list or uh, a list separated by commas of level IDs or level names. So I think if I read those instructions right, 
that I can, let's see, let's edit that post, too many windows open. I think we can just say, in quotes, full, and let's see what that gets us. So click on updates, and once that's done loading, we'll refresh, zero. Well, let's look at the instructions. Maybe I read this wrong. So a comma delimited string of level SKUs or names. OK. We'll just try the SKU. So basically, in Wishlist, uh, every level has a, a little cute number on it. So what we can do is go to the Integration tab, and then let's just choose uh, PayPal. And when we list these levels, we can see that there is a, uh, a number next to it. So let's try adding one of these numbers. So let's find the full level. So basically to get to this, remember we click on the integration tab and then PayPal. And if you already have a payment button, this is already set up. So next to the level, we see this number. So I'm going to select this number. So click and hold down, right click, copy. Then go back here and we're going to double click, paste right there. So let's see if that makes a difference. So click on update and then click refresh here we go so now this is a two so what we can do here is we can uh, we can do something like this we can put these PHP things like that and we can say we have oops not we gave we have that number of paid users so if we have two paid users which I think we do it'll say that and then I can just put another thing down here about free users so I'm just gonna click and hold down right click and copy put this down here right click and paste and I wanna say the number of free users we have so I'm gonna get the number for that other one so scroll down whoops choose PayPal and scroll down and we're gonna go into the free area click and hold down right click and copy go back here paste that in whoops did I mess something up oh yep make sure this is all in one line update so refresh so we have two paid users and we have zero free users did I mess something up there let's find out Oh, yep, I did. Looks like I pasted this in wrong. See how this is uh, one letter too wrong. So just to be safe, let's just delete all that. Okay, so totally blank. And go back here, select this, right-click, copy, right-click and paste in between the quotes. Make sure to take out any kind of extra spacing. See, even I make mistakes. Okay, click update. Let's go back here click refresh here we go so we have two paid users and we have one free users pretty cool right and in the last minute or so let's say that we had 20 openings in this site but two were filled up how do we show that pretty simple let's just say total number of students will allow 20 um, number of students we actually have is going to be that number and so the amount remaining is going to be total minus the number of students and here we'll just say echo left spots or slots available. Click update, refresh. So now we have 18 slots available. To make this even cooler, I'm going to switch back to visual here and I'll say we have 20 spots available. Cross that out and then show the exact number of slots we have available in our membership site. Here you go, we have 20 crossed out 18 slots available. Now just to make sure this works, let's click on the Tracy Childers user, select an action, add to level. We're gonna add him to the full level. So yes, commit those changes. And now when we refresh, boom. Now this 18 has changed to 17. So that's pretty much how to get started with the Wishlist Member API. Install the PHP shortcodes plugin and then go to wishlistproducts.com slash API and find this list of cool, neat little functions you can hook into.